The Too Late to Podcast podcast, episode three. My friend told me I should always remind you that it's the podcast that is too late or that it's the podcast. Yeah, it's a too late to podcast. She said I should always mention that I should always mention that it has no focus. So I have a friend. I'm going to call her my friend. Um, because she, I've been talking to her around the time I've been doing this. Um, uh, she told me I should get a light. Um, I'm going to experiment with it. Um, it's it's like a work light. Can you see it? Um, she said the funny thing was. She said that if when my face doesn't look lit at all, I look lugubrious. I think she said that, or maybe she said I look more lugubrious when there is a light. But I think she meant lugubrious in a, as a criticism. And the thing is, I have no idea what lugubrious mean means. But um, I guess it doesn't mean creepy. Um, I thought lugubrious had something to do with the way you speak. I thought lugubrious referred to people who spit a lot when they talk. Is there a word for that? But maybe it's just I'm I'm taking the sound of the word lugubrious and interpreting it that way. You know, there are these words that, um, like lugubrious, that you sort of hear in context your whole life and you kind of assume you know what they mean, but uh, probably you don't. Um, anyway, I don't know what lugubrious means, but I don't think she meant it good, in a good way. So I'm, I got a light uh, so as to appear less lugubrious. And uh, I'm going to experiment with ways to be less lugubrious. Um, speaking of my friend, um, I, I, I believe that at the end of the last episode, of the Too Late to Podcast, which I did yesterday, I said I was going to talk about uh, the issue of sex doll brothels. Maybe I will. Maybe I'll get back to it. But in the course of talking about sex doll brothels with my friend, I told her that um, to some degree I consider a sex doll kind of, you know, the next level of sex toy or device. Not that different from a dildo or a fleshlight. She didn't know what a fleshlight was, innocent young lady that she is. So I told her a fleshlight is something I've only seen pictures of. Um, in, uh, it looks like a flashlight. And at the end, where the light would go, they have a, the sh a shape. They have um, how many call an orifice. Um, actually, they come in both uh, uh, female orifices and male anuses for those, or anus. And why am I saying male? Why, am I, why do I assume the anus is male? There you go. I thought. Um, anyway, they come in female uh, genitalia or anuses. And rather, you know, and I was just making the point that uh, you know, a nobody's nobody's judging a strap on. Nobody's judging a dildo. Why would they strap? Why would they um, judge a flashlight? Maybe it's not a really good point. But to, anyway, the point is that she said to me, "No, a dildo is not anything like a flashlight because a dildo doesn't have a light on it." it. Took me a while to figure out what she meant, and then I realized, no, like a flashlight is called a flashlight because it's shaped like a flashlight. It doesn't have light pouring out of its orifice. It's just at the top where the light would be is where the orifice is. Get it? Even though it's called a flash light. It's not something to light flesh with. or It's not a light that comes out of your flesh. Anyway. Okay. Um, oh, I, uh, I'm going to have to do another episode. 
the thing is, what I came here to talk about was the fact that it's almost 7 p.m. on Saturday, and I haven't eaten for 23 hours. I'm fasting. I'm going to talk all about that in the next episode, which I'm going to do post-haste. 